G'day folks. Well, I figured I'd uh, take a page out of uh, Photonic Induction's book and connect speaker to VFD. But in this case I've gone from uh, one big speaker to three small ones and they are wired in star across, well, they're coming off the terminals of a uh, three-phase motor which is basically acting as a ballast. So technically it's still the same sort of uh, resistance, it's just these speakers might pop and hopefully won't take out the VFD. It's a risky experiment, but let's see what happens when I turn up the frequency. We'll go run at zero hertz. Let's turn it up a little bit. Oi. <laughs> the potentiometer is very sensitive. It's hard to get it to just idle. That's four hertz. It's two point three hertz. <laughs> That's cool. Let's crank it up. Oops. That went short. Yeah. That kind of went to ground. I shouldn't shouldn't have had them sitting on the table just through a uh, cloth. Ooh, yeah, it smells toasty. Well, that's the voice coil's dead. And the UPS is beeping at me. Oh, thanks for watching. That's better, we got power back again. It's kind of helpful when that happens. Evidently, it arced through to the table, yeah, and uh, yeah, went to ground. The table's grounded. <laughs> oh well. Oh, originally I was going to use three of these. I've got a pile of these uh, eight-inch woofers, and I thought, yeah, maybe I'd risk killing them. And I'm kind of glad that I uh, went with some junky uh, plasma TV speakers instead because yeah they die very quickly even though I'm connected across electric motor well it's still gonna murderize them very quickly I hope the VFD's alright yeah, VFD doesn't smell toasty just the speakers <laughs> VFD, I'll put that VFD through hell that's a tough little uh, Tico made uh, Taiwanese VFD good machine very tough but yeah that motor was running at the same time as the speakers but obviously the speakers are taking 220 volts at two or three Hertz so yeah Ooh, that one that one's stuck <laughs> yeah it's not happy <laughs> anyway thanks for watching that was fun